What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how you can change your mi1 into a pixel 2 yes on a software part of course not a hardware part and i've been waiting for this rom for almost months and again a huge hats off to the team who has developed this rom i have seen their work as i've been beta testing this rom for them and i know what kind of headache it was for the developers to make the trees from the ground up as the xiaomi didn't give the oreo trees until like yesterday so starting with the actual boot time i wanted to show you guys because it's really amazing for a snapdragon 625 phone and then again almost all of the features are working which are again just amazing and one of the developers which i know and a friend with is a official maintainer for this rom so if you have any kind of security patch like march may june july you got it covered you have to just flash the latest one there you go there is the google logo and bam there you go phone is booted up it's that quick so I will not just explain every single feature, but I would be explaining some of the Android 8.1 feature and the Pixel 2 thingies. So let's just begin starting with the home screen. You have your live wallpapers, then you have the Google camera. There you go with the portrait mode and working. And this is the latest one, the 5.2. So you can actually use the lens blur and the portrait mode at the same time. And with the portrait mode, the zoom is disabled. So if you don't already know, you kind of get that awkward zoom with the portrait mode. It's none of existence over here. You can use your full screen to get a portrait shot. You have all of the apps. There are their quick shortcuts. Swapping up takes you to the menu, of course. You have normal apps from the Pixel 2, such as FM Radio, everything from the Pixel XL. As this is based on AOSP, everything is stock. Going to the settings, as you can see, there is a newer search bar up top, thanks to Android 8.1. You get your normal settings, nothing new in that. Going to the battery, you get more circular UI and better animations in Android 8.1, thanks to the 18 by 9 aspect ratios. Displays are now much more curved. You get your normal things, such as adaptive brightness and stuff, nothing new in that. Going to the display though, there are few additions over the stock Pixel 2. Starting from the bottom, you get customizable UI style. So you get dynamic, light, dark and black. So let me explain this. In Android 8.1, you have wallpaper UI, which actually just detects what kind of wallpaper that you have. For example, right now I have kind of like a blue and white. So if I scroll down, you get a blue tint over here. It's not noticeable through the camera, but it's there. And the quick setting panel is now like 10% transparent and it stays through the whole UI. So if I just go to wallpaper, there you go, you have all the live wallpapers over here. Let's just uh, try this one, I really love it. And it doesn't even lag. If you have tried this on the stock ROM, it lags like an idiot. And there are no kind of touch lags as you expect in the stock Android 8.0. So really hats off to the developers for this. Like literally there is no lag. Let's just apply something dark uh, like this art. And if you notice the gradient is gone and the app menu is now darker thanks to Android 8.1. And with that status bar is also now black. Yes. So it's actually controllable in the settings. If you want it light, you can select it light and just force on it. You have dark, which we just got and the black. If you want pitch black, now it literally matches the body color of the MI1. So you also have device themes. So there are a couple of themes over here. You don't just get your normal pixel one. So you can make it red, teal, anything that you want. It will load up every time. But as you can see, the accents are now red. And then you just get your normal stuff such as adaptive brightness, night light and every other stuff which do work. Now let's just go to system. Into the gestures, you do get your normal gestures from the Pixel 2 such as jump onto the camera and lift to check phone which also work. But the developer has also added some hardware related gestures such as for example if you go here, you get ambient display, hand wave, pickup which do also work. So a pretty nice touch by them. Going to about phone, MI1, Android version 8.1.0, the latest thing that you can get. And then coming to the quick settings panel, you get more quick settings over here than the stock Android, such as for example, screenshot. You also get partial screenshot. So if you tap it once and just hold it, the screen will turn dim just like that. And then you can just select the part that you want to screenshot just like this. Stocking has never been easier than this. Then you have some notification, nightlight, caffeine, just your normal lineage or stuff. You can directly reboot and also power menu gets and beat update. Yes, Android P has this, but it began over here. And now let's just get to the installation of this ROM. So of course you will need to unlock your bootloader and I will guide you step by step. So even if you have any kind of issue, please let me know in the comment section below and someone will help you. So first of all, just grab your PC. So once you are on the PC, you have to download these six files. Once you do that, you have to just grab your MI A1. Then go to settings, scroll down, go to system, about phone and then just find build number. There you go. Then you have to just tap it few times until you get a notification that your developer options have been finally enabled. Go back and then you will find developer options over here. You have to just go in and then you will find an option called OEM unlock. Now as I've already done it, it will not appear for me. But for you, it will appear as an OEM unlock. You have to just enable it and that's basically it. You have to just power off your phone. You have to download these files, the wallpapers app, the Google camera, the stock camera if you want and root. And I will also provide an MI1 folder. In that there would be recovery files. So you have to just open it just like this. Go to CMD and type in fast boot 
devices. And then grab your MI1, hold the power and the volume down at the same time for some seconds until you see this. Once you see that, just connect your phone to the PC and hit enter. Once it shows a random number and fastboot, that means your device has been successfully connected. Once you do that, you have to just type in fastboot OEM unlock. This will unlock the bootloader of your phone. Hit enter. There you go. Okay, finished. That means everything has been successfully done. Then you have to proceed by installing a top recovery. So for that, you have to type in fastboot boot recovery.img and hit enter. Now it will automatically download the recovery to the phone. You have to not touch the phone at all. Otherwise the procedure will break because the phone will do everything itself. As you can see, once you're in the recovery, you have to just go to wipe, format data. And yes, I forgot to tell you, but back up all of your data. We are erasing our whole internal storage. Just type in yes and hit enter. There you go. Go to wipe again, advanced wipe, dial week, system data, internal storage, just everything. Swipe to wipe. And then you have to just copy the ROM files into the phone. Just close this folder. Once your phone has been successfully formatted, it will appear as the MI1 over here. As you can see, go to internal storage, completely empty. Just five files and just drag it over here. Once that is done, you have to just grab your MI1 again, swipe to unlock, select the ROM. The GFs have been already included inside this and just confirm to flash. This will take around two to three minutes. Now, after a few minutes, the ROM has been finally installed. Now you can stop like literally here and just reboot the system and it will do it. But if you want some extra few mods such as magics, just follow on, go to home. And then you have to just copy another file, which would be the top installer. This will actually install the top on your phone. Just drag this thing into the internal storage. There you go. Go to install, search for the top installer, confirm to flash, go to reboot and reboot recovery. Just like that, swipe to reboot. Now we are again into the recovery, just never show again, swipe to flash. You have to again go to install. If you want the stock MI1 dual camera, you also have the choice for it. And yes, the portrait mode is completely working. You can do that. I'm also going to do it. Swipe to flash, go back. Now, if you want root, you can have it. You can install mods such as dual speaker and stuff, but your banking apps wouldn't work perfectly, but still I'm going to do it. So magics swipe to flash. This will give the phone root and some mods if you want. Reboot, reboot system, do not install. And congratulations, you have successfully turned your MI1 into a Pixel 2. Now this will again take few minutes for the first boot and the phone is finally up. There you go, there is the setup, let it load, start, let's just make it quick. You also have your MI1 camera as we have flashed it too. And then if you want the Pixel 2 camera and the live wallpapers, you have to just go to files, swipe, MI1 and there you will find both of the APKs. Just install the first one which would be the Pixel wallpapers, install, done, Pixel 2 camera, continue, install, done. And that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. This was pretty much how to convert your MI1 into a Pixel 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more modding videos like this on the MI1, please let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.